Mother motherfuck click. Click the profile link in the top right of the web page after logging in and then check the account linking page. There may be a surprise there. Or maybe not. Maybe it just worked after that. How about that? Because that seems to be the MO. From the feedback we're getting for the people who are having this particular issue. Just logging in, creating the account. Things just start working. Bam! As weird as that is. But then for others like Super Nelson Kiwi. They had previously linked the game to an Xbox. Well, they had previously played the game on Xbox and they didn't know that Activision considered that linking. So then when they logged in, they saw Xbox was linked, unlinked Xbox, and then linked the Battle.net desktop client for PC, and they were good to go. Some in the comments, like Juniper Gary, mentioned that all they needed to do to begin with was create the account on Activision.com website, and then when they went to the linked accounts page, the Battle.net desktop client was already linked, and they could then connect to the game. So for some, that will be the end of it. All you have to do is just create the account on Activision.com, and you may be able to connect. Whether that's something to do with the Battle.net desktop client failing to create the necessary accounts for some when they are setting up the game through the Battle.net desktop client. But for others, if they had a the game previously linked to another platform, or for some others even, it's just that they had their email associated with another platform on a previous Activision game. So if you're not sure, maybe you you know, if you've been gaming for a long time, if you've ever loaded another Activision game on a different account that's associated with your most recent Warzone purchase, then try this as well. Because your email may be still linked to another platform. A big shout out to Super Nelson Kiwi and everyone who provided excellent feedback in order to expose and work through this issue.